Welcome everyone, this is John here from ContraBIM and in this video I'm going to do a quick overview of the master template plus ContraBIM 5D estimating collaborative template. Now this is something I'm really excited about. I've been working with Eric Bobro um, for the last uh, few months in preparation for releasing this combo uh, package which really features the best of uh, master template and the best practices developed by Eric as well as the ContraBIM 5D estimating workflow um, that I've developed. Um, and we're bringing those two together and delivering this in a solution that I think a lot of people will really be able to uh, benefit from and uh, really take advantage of the quantity reporting that's already predefined, preset up in this template so that you don't have to go through all those steps and, and time of figuring it out on your own. So in this video, I just want to provide a real quick overview. So we can see here, this is the legends file. And in this legends file, we have all the, the standard uh, master template objects that have been created, such as the stairs and railings, uh, different casework objects, uh, a bunch of different walls and slabs, uh, windows, doors, structural elements, um, as well as the combination of different rooms. Um, and so this, this file, if you're familiar with master template, has been set up as a legends file so that we can load all the information in here and then we can eyedropper these into our active project later on when we're ready to uh, to build the project. So um, let's do a real quick run through here of some of the major features. So um, if we zoom into the composite structures for walls, we can see that this is all loaded up with property data. So if we select a wall and expand the properties here, we can see this has been assigned to finishes, interior partitions, and down here a little bit further down we have a lot of cost that's been loaded in um, for wall finishes as well as framing members. And we can see that re being reflected here in these uh, smart labels that we've developed to really help give you some quick feedback in terms of what cost is loaded up into what elements. So we can see the details here on the right. And then we also have an expression based property here that will add all these details up for you and give you that overall cost impact of those walls. So we've done this for both half inch jip as well as five eighths. And of course, this is the USA template here. We'll be doing another video on the international template uh, shortly. Um, but we have, of course, ceilings, structural floors, exterior walls, um, really all the different walls have been loaded up, even the simple model elements, which um, have a little bit more of a summary type data level, but um, nonetheless, those have also been loaded. Um, as we pointed out in 3D, we have a lot of different kitchen parts and pieces, so all the different cabinets, um, cabinets that contain plumbing equipment or plumbing fixtures. We have kind of a dual uh, system here for pricing both elements. Um, we have stairs and railings that have been all loaded up so um, you can go through and you know look at the different systems and get a, a, a quick perspective on how they're being priced and what uh, quality and cost is associated with those. Um, so we have a bunch of quick rooms that have been developed that have all the parts and pieces put together and of course these again are all loaded with costs. So each element here is, uh, is really reported onto um, these cost reports that we've set up. So this is all organized generally by uh, CSI master format, which is a very common way of pricing things here in the US. Um, so for Windows, we've you know tagged everything with the, with the cost codes and built up different assemblies, um, doors, structural elements, everything in this legends file has been loaded. Uh, loaded up for cost and so we can go through and, and price each of these elements and they're all pre-reported onto their different cost reports. So this is pretty powerful stuff. Um, so how is this all made possible? Well really it starts with um, we added in the property data from the ContraBIM 5D estimating template. So we've added additional identification parameters into the project so that we can then go and just select the right uh, CSI category or CSI codes, or uniformat systems-based codes. So all this is new to master template. This is the ContraBIM property set. Um, we have different uh, cost details here and on multiple levels. So you can price things whether you want to do it more on a summary basis, uh, break it down into resources. Um, you can assign different factors as well. Um, or we can start getting into more of the cost details here as we looked at earlier with say framing members and different finishes for walls and slabs. And so really the, uh, the ContraBIM properties make this whole workflow possible. And these properties are really important when it comes to um, reporting 
these elements onto the different uh, cost reports themselves. So if we pull up Windows here real quick, we can see that um, based off our settings here of any window or skylight that has um, these cost codes assigned, they're going to be uh, populated onto this report. And we can price these just by filling out our unit costs. We can define our units, um, whether we want to do it based off account or based off a square footage takeoff. Um, but we have plenty of options here for just going through and um, reporting these elements into these reports so that it makes it really easy to work with and um, assemble the cost uh, into an estimate. So um, so we have multiple types of reports. We have some that are actually uh, component-based where it's um, being driven from a different type of reporting engine where it will actually separate out the different uh, materials that make up a composite structure or a complex profile. So we can see how this is reflected here in the unit masonry uh, report. Um, for example, here, um, if we unmerge uniform items, we can see here that we have three um, items listed in this report that are actually the same exact element. We have two finishes associated with it. In this case, we got brick on two sides, and then we have a core element for the, uh, the CMU wall. So we can see how these have been broken out. And based off this type of structure, um, we can price our uh, framing cost separately from our outside finish cost. So it gives us a lot of flexibility in terms of going in and extracting out the cost into the right packages so we can price those uh, components uh, individually um, but together on the same report. So of course we have things set up for you know concrete, we have things set up for steel, um, we have a lot, all the different uh, specialties set up. Um, so I'm just gonna click through a few of them here. Um, we have equipment, we have plumbing fixtures, we have electrical equipment. All this stuff is pre-reported so that you don't have to go through the process of actually assigning all the codes, assigning the cost. We have it all dialed in to begin with so that you can just take this and then export these out. Um, in this case, I'll just publish out this electrical because we're looking at that. So as soon as we publish this out, then we can update it directly into our Excel estimate template here. So here we can see the listing of all of our different reports um, and we can go to that electrical. Um, we can see that it was just published out and um, yeah, pull this up. Um, if we want, we could clear the data out and then just refresh it or we can just refresh it right on top, it doesn't matter. So, okay, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. Um, we've created a, uh, a few different categories of new views here in the legends file. So this will also be represented in the project template file. So we're essentially just listing all of our different cost reports here. We have a few cost reports based off the zones. So gross square footage or the rooms. Um, we have some cost details that really make it um, useful for importing uh, and exchanging data with Excel. So we can fill out um, a lot of these details in another format where it might be a little easier for us. And we also have some audits here to make sure that everything is being uh, populated with the, the coding information that it needs. Um, these are just a few. We're going to be adding a few more here as well so that it's a little bit of a quality control tool to, uh, to work with as we are um, building our projects. So, um, okay, so that wraps up this, uh, this first video, just a quick introduction into the legends file. Um, we'll be dialing into some of these additional features um, in additional videos coming up here. So I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned. Um, there's a lot more to share about this collaborative template, AMT plus C5D master template with ContraBIM 5D estimating.